covering this whole area. Do this on both the sides. Just stabilize this whole area without stretching it upward or outward. Mm -mm. Now roll your eyeballs down and blink slowly. If your upper lash line can't reach the lower lash line, that's fine. Don't overstretch it. The goal here is not to overstretch the skin. This is something I notice very frequently when I consult people one on one. You guys watch multiple videos and face exercises that are available all across social media. Some may be right, but most could be incorrect. Or they do not explain the technique. Your face muscles, especially the ones that are around your eyes, are very delicate. So any wrong move, overstretching or contorting other facial areas, overdoing number of repetitions of an exercise just because you like it, could actually have an opposite result on your delicate facial muscles. As your face yoga coach, I feel responsible to share details and not just quickly show you exercises back to back. As your face yoga coach, I feel responsible to share all the details and not just quickly show you exercises back to back. But there is only so much that I can explain on a YouTube video. My face yoga courses, my masterclass, one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. These are all the options and excellent way to start self-care with face yoga journey. The links to my programs are in the description below this video. I am super excited about my 21-day face yoga mastery course that offers over 100 exercises and techniques and results better than any products or invasive procedures can. I've added a few limited time bonuses that encourage all my natural self-care and face yoga enthusiasts to sign up right now. If you think you need customized help because everyone face is different. Everyone's face aging concerns are different. Then please fill out a form on my website. The link should look like this in my description below. One of my trained associates will schedule a complimentary discovery call and help you with all the details and answers that you need to set up your customized sessions with me. are maintaining the correct posture of this face exercise. I'm posting a video just for my supporting channel members where I will tell you a variation in this exercise when performed with both fingers together on your eyebrows. It is completely different from this one. The benefits are very different, the muscle engagement and the results in facelift are completely different. These are the kind of exclusive perks you get when you become my channel member along with some live streams. So please click on that join membership button and select the level that you're comfortable with. I appreciate your support and congratulations on taking that one step forward in becoming a better version of yourself and for becoming a supporting member of this channel. I feel so much lighter and lifted on this side. I just don't feel that heaviness that's dragging my eyes down. Now the other side. So this one eyebrow raise exercise is also excellent to understand which side of your forehead muscles are stronger and weaker. Initially when I started this exercise, I could barely move the muscles on my left eyebrow. But now I can individually lift both my eyebrows. That's your goal. It is important that you understand your facial symmetry and predict how this could affect you in the long term. My face symmetry course is perfect for you if you want to improve your facial symmetry by improving the muscle strength, the flexibility, reduce stiffness or droopiness that may occur unevenly as you age. So what you can't see happening under my finger is this. Wiggle this pointed side in horizontal movements covering the whole area from bottom all the way to the top for about 30 seconds. Five to six rounds of about 10 wiggles going up is what I'm expecting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. again. So about five to six rounds of this. The side as well. Every part of every kind of washa can be used for a different purpose to yield different results while you're massaging your face. In my 3 in masterclass, I have included everything you need to learn about washas. Which one could be the right one for you, for your face aging concerns and for your face shape? I guess if you didn't know that, you would still be using this standard washa, which is pretty common. But is this the right one for your face? Learn all about washas, kansa wand, and honey face tapping in this masterclass. Okay, so I'm going to keep my word. I told you that I'll help you understand how to predict how